Good evening again, my lovely subscribers on the YouTube budget guitarist here. Um, this evening, I'm replacing the strings on my uh, Gordon Stratocaster. The reason being is because in a few days, I'm off to a an actual studio to do some rehearsing in a studio with the band. Um, these strings have been on this guitar since new. They are standing. They are sounding to sound. You know, starting to sound a little. Um, dull if you like so it's time I got some new strings now if you're if you know how to change guitar strings you don't need to watch this but if you've um, never changed a set of guitar strings before and you were interested in how to do it it's really easy I'm just gonna do it step by step okay so the, the tools I use for this is a pair of, uh, let's get them in the camera, a pair of snips and uh, a little screwdriver. And you're going to need as well the little um, Allen keys that normally comes with your your new guitar because we need to check the uh, intonation and also check the action still still set the way because we're about to we're about to remove the tension off the guitar, which may cause the bridge to um, not be intonated but hopefully that doesn't happen okay so i'm not a luthier i'm not a trained professional but how i change my guitar strings is the first thing i do so up at the head i release the tension on all six strings so you can see there we go you can see now So I get rid of the tension in all six strings. There we go. And then once the tension's off, all I'm going to do is snip them. Now I like to snip my strings um, round about here, but it doesn't really matter where you snip them. You just need to make sure you don't, you know, accidentally scuff the guitar with whatever it is you're using to snip the strings. Okay, and uh, you wanna flip it over. Ah, okay, something. Here we go. So, this is what the little screwdriver's for. So, on strat as casters are you know in particular it can be quite difficult to get the strings out the the back of the bridge block so it's just always a good idea to just completely remove the back panel it's just a lot easier to get uh, access to it okay as the panel's off it's just screwed on i actually had the wrong size screwdriver you need to make sure when you you know removing anything from your guitar there are a lot of tiny screws just have the right um size screwdriver if possible because what you don't want to do is start rounding off the little screw heads and stuff now, to get the strings then all you need to do is just take a hold of them and push them up through the uh, the bridge and they all and they will all come out okay last one there we go There's all the, all the strings off. You don't need to keep those. Um, I don't know, I suppose if you do any sort of hunting, maybe you could make some snares, but I don't really do that sort of stuff. So they're just gonna go in the bin. And last thing to do then is just unwind. Get the, uh, just get the strings off the, uh, off the tuning pegs there. Once you've got all your strings off, it's always a good idea. Well, I do it anyway. It's just give it all a, you know, give it all a good clean. I use a, a paintbrush just to get off all the old pick dust and bits of, you know, grime that just settles in the hard to reach places. And same again on, on the head as well, where all the dust likes to collect.
a lovely looking guitar that absolutely love this and then once you've you know give it a give it a dust off just just check everything over just make sure you've got no excessive wear on your frets you've got nothing you know your, your actual tuners are still um you know they're still nice and tight then you know they don't need to be um tightened up or anything this yeah these these are fine you'll know if they need tightening up because they'll just feel really loose you, you i think you so you want them so when you when you turn it it's going to feel like there's a little bit of resistance in it you know and if it, if it's really really loose then there's a tiny screw on the top of each one of these just gently tighten it up until you get that bit of resistance but we're good um at this stage now what i like to do is turn all the tuners so all the holes are in a straight line so they're ready to accept the strings in okay so new strings so i like uh ernie ball custom gauge um 10 gauge strings i think these are the super slinky ones um when it comes to what strings to put on your guitar they just need to be electric guitar strings you know the gauge and thickness is um player's preference um i like these because they're somewhere in the middle they're not too light they're not too heavy and they they, they just feel comfortable to play i always like to do the uh top e string first uh, as soon as you take the string out of the packet it immediately unravels now you may have a guitar that's got a a top loading bridge what that means is the string goes that way through the bridge um, but this is the exact same sort of thing same same bit you need to do the string is going to some sort of hole whether it's in the back of the trem block or it's a top loading bridge or straight through the body um yeah it's the same so top e string is going straight through the trem block Oh, I'm actually putting it in the wrong hole. It's going in that one. This one here. And what we're wanting is the string to come through the the uh, the, the gap in the saddle through the hole, like this. Then we need needs to go through the hole and remove some tools. Might be better off if I uh, turn this around. <laughs> yeah, so it's going through the hole now on the tuning peg. Remember I lined them all up so it went straight in no problem. And what I do what I, what I do with mine is so I put the string across the, the tuning pegs like this and when it gets to two pegs up that's where I'm going to snip it because we don't actually need all that um, it makes the whole job just look a little bit neater um, plus if you don't you know if you've just got all the straggly ends ending you know going everywhere then it you know you run the risk of the sharp edges um digging into your um finish on the neck and start scratching it up now push it through now what i do with mine is so i push it through a little bit and i put a little bend in it like this there we go so it looks like a hook keep bending it round now when we start to um When we start to put tension on the string, then you need, it needs to be going up. So it's so you're always tuning up, and it just we just keep doing the keep turning it up, keep turning till eventually it wraps around. Um, pay attention to when you're doing the wrapping because you, you you know you want it you want it to look nice and neat, and you want the um, the wraps to be nice and even but I mean it doesn't really matter if they sort of you know go over the, each wrap goes over the top of each other 
um, it's just my OCD I just like it to look neat there we go we just keep winding it and just keep a little bit of tension on the on the string as you're winding now you can get a peg winder um, makes the whole process a lot faster but I'm the budget guitarist and if I can help it I won't buy anything uh, what you're going to do once you've got your string on, it doesn't matter what stage you do this to be honest, but I, I just do mine one at a time. Make sure that it's sitting in the nut properly, you know, because often it's not quite in and you'll put all your strings on and then start tuning it and then it'll then slip into the gap and then you'll have a lot of a lot of slack and it'll just make the process of, you know, a bit more long-winded. But new strings need time to um, sort of bed in. It's like a new car. Um, you need to give it a bit of time to bed in but you can speed up the process just by simply pulling at the string you can hear where the pitch changes because the string is bedding in and it's starting to uh, stretch so just a couple of a couple of gentle pulls and that should do it and then you repeat the process now for all the rest of the strings um, as well as the top note, you need to make sure that um, the strings that go under these string trees go under the string trees correctly and they go into the little grooves that they're supposed to go in. Again, if you you know don't notice it's not in a groove and then you start to tune up and then it slips in, it, it might break the string. Alright, last string now, the, the little E string. Let's get that wound on. Tidy it up a little bit, get rid of some of these sharp ends. There we go, that'll do. Some new strings. So now we've got new strings on, we need to tune it up. Okay, so you can use your guitar tuner or an app or whatever it is you've got to tune your guitar and uh, the only thing you need to remember is that you're tuning always tune tuning up so if you if you're tuning up and you go past the note as in higher than it then you need to come back down past it again and then back up to it and there's the string done once you've got the, the string tuned just give it another little sort of pull on it just to make sure that there's you know the strings happy to be where it's at and then just continue the entire process on the other five strings
Right, there we go. Alright, that's how you uh, place your strings and uh, tune it up. I'll leave a link in comments because I did, I remember now, I did do a video that covers the actual setup in more detail. You know, when it comes to setting the action, setting the um, the intonation as well. So I'll, I'll stick that in the comments. Thank you very much for watching.